Okay, Larry, so before I get too much further in my uh, build here with my solar panels, I wanted to show you what I've done, and that way you could uh, either tell me I'm doing good or bad. So I'm not too worried about my framework. It is what it is, right? Um, but I hooked on my panels that, I, that I've mounted so far. Uh, the back of them, there's positive and negative. I hooked the positive and negative from one to the other, and then the positive and negative from each panel. Uh, each, that runs over here to my combiner box. Midnight Solar. From that combiner box, um, let me get nice and comfortable. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. On that combiner box, I've got two large black ground wires. Uh, both of those run all the way uh, about 40 feet, 45 feet into the house. And uh, I'm using that uh, for positive and ground um, on both charge controllers. Um, I'll explain that in just a second. The yellow wire that goes into the main bus bar is um, for power, of course, from my main solar distribution. There's gonna be five, five strings um, because uh, Outback said I can only have 2,000 watts. So the first five breakers, one, two, three, four, five breakers, they're gonna be for uh, my main solar for Outback. That sixth one, there's the big white wire that comes out of that and it goes down into that big black bundle. That's a, uh, uh, what do they call that, a split ring? Um, and it goes down to a two gauge orange. So it's six gauge on the top, so I could connect to the breaker down to a split ring. Um, and then it's all clamped down, taped, and I used uh, not just du or not just uh, electrical tape, but I used uh, the big thick insulation tape, and then I put uh, electrical tape on top of that. So that should be good. Um, the question I did have is, on that lightning arrestor, you can see the red wire goes up to the main bus bar, um, and then the, the green goes to the neutral ground, and then the black goes to the negative. Um, when I say neutral, I meant to the earth ground. And then you can also see on that same bus bar, there's a big black wire. I drilled a hole in the back of that midnight solar. Uh, I'll put some RTV there. And then I ran that on the outside. That's a six gauge THHN. It goes all the way down to uh, a ground rod that's in the ground. I actually buried it and uh, uh, put it on its connector. So um, just want to get your opinion, see if you see anything that's really terrible, that's a big, huge violation. I don't even know if that lightning arrestor is wired right. It's kind of weird uh, how that's done. I don't know. You're going to have to let me know. Um, and then on the bottom, I've used the... Uh, uh, I've used the connectors that are uh, supposed to be waterproof. So that's my outside uh, panel box, my combiner box. And then down here on the bottom, I put me a junction box. Um, the wires come up out of a 90. It's all buried in uh, uh, electrical conduit. Uh, you can see my trench that goes up to the house. On the other side, I've still got to put a 90 degree, uh, two and a half inch 90 degree, and that big black wire that comes out of that's gonna go to my uh, wind turbine. Um, the wind turbine wires just jump from one side to the other. That's one reason I put that box there. So there's that. So let me walk in the house real quick. We've had a terrible clouds today. We had one burst of sunshine about three o'clock and off two panels, I was doing over 13 amps. So that was pretty exciting. Okay, so in the house, there's my Outback um, Flex Max. I'll zoom in so you can see that. Um, as far as I know, it's working just fine. So you saw the light that's outside. Sun's almost down. It's uh, 7.30 right now. And there's a uh, 45 volts, what, half amp, and it's putting out 24-7, one amp. We did 1.2 kilowatt hours today, which is pretty darn good because it was pitch black outside. So I was uh, actually shocked by that. Um, the hub is hooked up, seems to be running. Um, I don't have anything hooked up to the Coleman Air right now. Um, the wind turbine, I'm gonna move it on the trailer. I can't get my, my weld guy and my concrete guy over here because of the weather. Uh, they're booked right now, so uh, I'm kind of stuck with that. The extra two panels that I have that I can't use on the Flex Max uh, on the Outback, I am going to run though, those two panels uh, in to my Missouri Wind and Solar, and you can see I attached uh, the other end of that orange wire comes straight into here. So we'll have wind and solar. Uh, on that box. Uh, there's my numbers for today. So not too bad. Um, we did what? 
on the, I mean, it rained all day long, and we still did 1.26 kilowatt hours, so that was pretty good. And on the load on my critical circuits, we only had a 2.17, so uh, we're getting there. We charged, uh, you know, trickle charged a little bit all day long. So uh, something else that I did, I put a uh, kind of a combiner box in the house, and I cut out that hole uh, that's right there in the middle, and that's where my 80 amp GFI breaker's at. Um, man, that's big, thick. Uh, two gauge wire I was trying to manipulate so I just thought maybe uh, putting it there I don't know if that's going to be super okay or not we'll find out huh um, as I back out a little bit there's my combiner box that's got uh, all of my six gauge wires in it I used um, uh, those uh, split collars again and uh, it's not just electrical tape but it's the uh, uh, it's got the um, insulation tape on it and I ran a ground strap back there in the back uh, I'm sure you can see that and that's uh, earth ground that's back there and it runs uh, everything's connected to it um, That's where my flex max is connected to that's where my outback uh, GFX uh, was it 3524 that's where it's connected um, So that's kind of all of the solar stuff I just wanted to see if you would you know give me your thoughts see if you see if anything it's a huge safety concern so I've got the breakers that are outside right off the panels I've got the big breaker um, that comes inside. The only thing I don't have, um, I do have a disconnect for the batteries. Um, that disconnect for the batteries is for uh, the Missouri Wind and Solar. I have another disconnect box. Um, that's kind of a cupcake thing to do, right? Uh, I've got the box, I just need to put it in. So I'll get that done. Um, one will be wind and one will be solar. So. Man, if you, if you wouldn't mind, just let me know what you think. Um, tell me if you see anything. I didn't use metal conduit. I used uh, gray because I don't have the, the conduit bender, and I'm just not good at that stuff. But uh, honestly, I don't think an electrician is going to have a problem here where I live. Um, I think I probably went above and beyond, and honestly, I don't think they know anyway. So let me know what you think. Thanks, man. See you, bye.